Well, first of all, I don't believe there's any chance that AI is going to kill us because I'm convinced one of my four daughters is going to do that through the course of my life. So I'm not worried about that. It's funny when people talk about AI, I've, I've been deploying technology for a little over 25 years. And the majority of that time has been in deploying mortgage technology. And when you talk about AI, there's forms of AI that have been around for decades. It was just called something different. It was called automation. And then in the last five years before generative AI really became kind of the, the, the phrase to encompass all things technology-based tasks and actions being taken, the, the focus was on a word called orchestration, which is basically taking all the automation capabilities that existed and just putting rules in place to fire that automation off at certain points in a process or when certain events take place. And so now you have generative AI as really kind of the, the catch-all phrase that people use to talk about automation these days. But from my perspective, it's, it's been around for quite a while. And even artificial intelligence in its most current definition has still been used for over a decade. It's just our industry has typically been kind of the last bastion to adopt innovation. And, and it's understandable why that is, because the stakes are so high if you get it wrong. The majority of your revenue as a lender right now is coming on your ability to strategically execute loans in the secondary market. Regulation has taken away a lot of the front end revenue that you were able to obtain either through charging points to consumers or competition has made it. So even administrative fees have really been compressed down. So all the revenue now is coming from secondary market execution. That coupled with the fact that if you make mistakes in this industry, one, you've got seven to 15 different regulatory bodies that are going to be quick to jump on you and come at you with fines or other penalties. But the biggest issue is, is if you have to purchase that loan back for any reason, because you didn't perfectly cross that T or symmetrically dot that I, that's a risk that a lot of lenders can't take. And so the thought of allowing someone else to make decisions or take actions that could lead to the possibility that me as a lender I get stuck with now having to figure out how do I service this loan or manage a scratch and dent portfolio. That's a big risk. I get why it's been, you know, slow to get adopted here.